Today, we get to hear from my friend Brian, who's going to share with us uh, some lessons he's learned about some of this stuff um, and just some hardship that his family had to go through as well when, when he was young. So let's, let's give Brian a hand as he comes up on stage. What's up, man? Not too much. See, so you made some revisions. No. no. Okay. <laughs> so we were hiking the other day, and you told me uh, just a very powerful story about uh, just some things you saw growing up. Um, so I have a old, had an elder sister. Um, she, when she was five years old, she uh, kind of get contacted the strep virus, and it actually caused her kidneys to fail. And she was on dialysis for pretty much the remainder of her life. And uh, the hardship that that created on my family, my dad had to take jobs and construction on the road so they could have benefits. And my mom was always at the hospital with my sister during treatments. And so there was separation in the family, separation just being apart. And over all those years, um, the my parents had to depend on God to get them through. There wasn't a lot of money. Things were, you know, just a lot of chaos. And their, it caused their marriage and our family unit to get stronger because we all bonded together in God and just around each other um, <clears throat> to get through. And as, you know, many years and kidney transplants and all that stuff we got through, <clears throat> we all grew stronger and uh, in our Christian faith and as a family. And <clears throat> eventually, as I got older, I realized that that faith that they had really had cemented in me, and it gave me this phenomenal gift just to rely on God for everything and not have to worry. So she got sick when she was five, and she died when she was 18. So it was like 13, 14 years. Your parents were doing dialysis and traveling and really having very little money. I mean, sure. That was your experience growing up, having very little yeah. money. I remember um, we, when we moved to Modesto, we had an actually in-home dialysis unit. So there was three-bedroom house. My parents had one room. My sister had all of her stuff in the middle. There was four kids to one room. And I just remember, like, you know, I never, I never thought that I didn't have enough or didn't have anything that I needed. But it was just always, like, just kind of realized that, I don't know. But. And how have you, I mean, you told me that this actually affected how you do life and raise your kids and stuff, too. It's given me a sense of God will always provide, and he's always there, and he, you don't have to worry about the outcome. My wife is the planner and wants to know every detail. You're not the planner? No. <laughs> 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 and so she, you know, stresses out when there's not a plan, and there's not a way we're going to get there, or there's a way we're going to do it, and I just have to tell her it's going to happen. If it's finances or just, you know, uh, logistics, whatever it is, I just have to tell her God's in control and there's nothing, you know, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Yeah. So, and, and I think it's powerful because I know your parents, they were here for a service and that tragedy in their life and the hardship they went through, it didn't, it didn't turn them bitter. It actually, it's, it's a different type of joy, but it, it, it made their family stronger, made you stronger. Mm-hmm. It's powerful. Yeah, our house was never a sad, it was never a sad house. We were not depressed. It was always, we always had fun with each other. And it was, and I think that was definitely strength given to us by God to mm -hmm. help us through. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. We're going to pray together. I'm going to pray for Brian. I'm going to pray for us. And I uh, just want to encourage you to know that um, as we live into this vintage way with relationships, with money, uh, just know that God is with you. God is with you, and that's what I hear out of your story. Thanks for sharing. God, I want to lift up my friend Brian to you, and um, thank you for his story. Thank you for the faith of his parents and how that faith has been passed on to him and the way he raises his kids. 
And Lord, I pray for all of us that we can just take his story to heart and what you're trying to share to us and with us to heart. God, we, we know there's gotta be a better way to live money and help us to do that. Help us to celebrate that. Help us to enjoy what you've given us. Lord, I just continue to pray for my brothers and sisters in this church and uh, bless us and help us to receive your blessings with gratitude. Thank you, Lord. We praise in Jesus' name. Amen.